You know, uh, yesterday he gets to meet the media and he kind of gives a half-hearted apology. Doesn't regret the video. Re regret, though, that the video was seen. Um, and, you know, I was talking about this on Monday. And I was trying to, you know, to describe to people how the dynamics of the locker room work and, you know, how you want everybody to be held accountable and you want to make sure that people are all in. You know, we hear Tom Coughlin every year came up with those crazy little sayings, but yeah. those sayings have deeper meaning. You know, we can make fun of them because they may be, you know, a little bit over the top, well, you know, all in, burn the boats and all that other stuff. But there is real significant meaning to those things. And yes. what he is trying to get across is to all the coaches, all the front office staff, all the uh, training staff, everybody that supports the team, plus the 53 players themselves, have to be all in. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean? That means holding yourself accountable. I mean, showing up on time for meetings, for team functions, making sure you don't miss walkthroughs, make sure that if you are injured, you're getting your treatment. That's a part of your responsibility as a professional football player. And make sure that you are holding yourself accountable. And unfortunately for Sheldon Richardson, whether it be being habitually late for meetings, which has been uh, out there, yes. now comes his video Snapchat, plus on top of that a suspension, plus he's one blunt away from getting suspended 10 games, right. plus he also had the uh, you know the 110 mile an hour, or yeah. however, 140 speeding, mile an hour speeding, kid in the car, kid in the car and everything else. Right. It's almost as if, you know, I read Manish's, Manish made his uh, article this morning in the Daily News, like he's making all the excuses that is really ultimately the problem for a lot of these guys, that everybody's making an excuse for you, when in actuality, you're living a completely different life than everybody else is in that locker room. Yeah, yeah. Uh, listen, it's a bad look altogether. Uh, I, and I just saw the actual Snapchat with you just before you finally showed me it, so I knew about it, but did not actually see it. And it, it's a bad look regardless. And hey, listen, I think it's the reason Sheldon Richardson, his actions, is the reason they re-signed Muhammad Wilkerson. They know, like, you know what? We're going with Leonard Wilson. We're going with Muhammad Wilkerson. Leonard Williams, we, yeah. uh, and Leonard Williams, sorry. And we can't trust Sheldon Richardson. I think he he has proven that. And, you know, listen, he can say sorry. And I, I certainly am not judging him as a person, but that's just unprofessional to what, do that. What do you that. mean you're not going to judge him as a person? Well, I, I think you would. I well, mean, listen, he, he's young, and I, I don't know him. I, so wait I'm a minute, not, time out, time out. I, you know, I'm sick and tired of hearing that, too. Okay. Because every single, one, every single player in the NFL will say the same thing to a coach right to his face. Treat me like a man. Yeah, you're I right. I want to be treated like a man. Mm -hmm. I'm not a child anymore. I'm not a baby anymore. Anymore. I'm not your son. It's a great point. I'm a football player and I'm a professional and I want to be treated like a man. Okay. So that's what they all say. Yes. But yet you, now you're making excuses because he's young and he's immature. Yeah, well, you're right. I, I am he's kind making, of making excuses. He's making $8 million a year. No doubt. Fans pay a lot of money to come see these guys play. When they hear stories about them being late to meetings, when they see that both he and Muhammad Wilkerson get benched for an entire quarter against the Miami Dolphins. Right. And the Miami Dolphins score 14 points during that time, mm -hmm. and essentially they cost their team a game, not only by not being on time for meetings and walkthroughs, yes. but also by being fined or being uh, suspended for a quarter by their head coach. I, I get you, I, all, and all your points are totally valid, but I'm still not going to sit here and just say he's a bad person. He's maybe stupid in situations, immature, and not a professional. I'm going to go there. I don't know what he does. I mean, maybe he's great with charity work, and maybe he's got a kind soul and a good person. He's just done some really stupid, dumb things.